of the best beet and acorn cookies I've ever eaten. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Binging with Babish, where this week we're trying Carol's beet and acorn cookies, which, of course, utilizes acorns that she foraged. Well, the thing about foraging for acorns, Andrew, is that you want to make sure... Dude, what? dude, this is my show. What are, you, what are you doing here? Well, you weren't saying anything. You were just standing here, so... Well, yeah, I do a voiceover in post-production. I'm not saying anything right now. I'm just moving my hands around for emphasis. Where the hell is that voice coming from? All right, you know what? Just, just stand over there. That's Ashwin from Ashwin Enjoys Nature. He helped me forage for these acorns that we're going to turn into... Acorn flour. No, I'm just kidding, I had to special order this crap from California. So I'm just sort of improvising this recipe using very basic cookie algorithms. Combine acorn and white flour, a leavener, in this case arrowroot powder, a bit of cinnamon for flavor, a bit of salt for flavor, whisk to combine, and it's time to talk about post-apocalyptic sweeteners. Now, it looked like Carol was reaching for some cacao nibs, so we're gonna process three tablespoons in a mortar and pestle. I don't know what you're giggling at, there's nothing funny about what I'm doing right now. And then on top of that, apparently Carol uses beets for sweetness. Now, I think she would have better luck with some fresh beets like these, but in the show, she opts for canned beets. Be very careful with these, they will stain everything. And actually, what gives beets a red color is a pigment called beta-cyanine. Now, beta-cyanine is- what, what, what the hell is that? Oh, it's like a little thing I do in my episodes. Get that out of here, what font is what? that? No. I was gonna use that, but okay. He's just not getting how this works. Anyway, we're going to puree our can of beets in a high-powered blender, do the same with a can of water chestnuts, and we're gonna mix those together with a quarter cup of vegetable shortening, a fat that apparently has an indefinite shelf life. But don't trust me on that, I just Googled it. Once those are well combined, we're going to add our dry ingredients and mix until a thick cookie dough forms if you can even call this stuff cookie dough. Dole out some dollops onto a parchment-lined baking sheet and bake in a 350-degree Fahrenheit oven for about 15 minutes until you get these things, which don't look anything like the show. There's just no way cookies are going to look like that if you're putting beets and cacao nibs in there, and just as I suspected, they look terrible, they taste terrible, and I hate them. Hey, Ushwin, you gotta come over here and try these. They're, they're really good. Mmm. All right, let's see if we can't try to make these tasty. I'm gonna start with coconut oil, some more beet puree, quarter cup of brown sugar, a little bit of vanilla paste, whisk together to combine, and oh, I cannot forget the absolutely inexplicable addition of water chestnuts. Same procedure as before, but backwards, we're combining the wet ingredients to add to the dry. This time I'm gonna use three quarters of a cup each of the acorn flour and all-purpose flour, and a tablespoon or two of arrowroot, our processed cacao nibs. Mix briefly on medium speed to combine before pouring in our beet mixture. And because why not, how about some chocolate chips? After tasting, I realized it needed more sugar, so a little bit of sugar, an egg for improved cookie structure, beet to combine, and form into balls. We're gonna try making these into earthquake cookies. So roll in confectioner's sugar, place on a lightly greased cookie sheet, and bake at 350 for about 15 minutes until you are greeted with cookies made from beets, water chestnuts, and acorn flour that are actually halfway edible. Now, if this was my first cookie after six years of a zombie apocalypse, it'd be pretty good, but you guys would be better off just making literally any other cookie. Hey guys, head on over to Ushwin Enjoys Nature to see how we found these ingredients, and if you like, to see my face. He's a very funny guy, and uh, he came to New York and helped me out to- Holy Jesus! Yes. Dude, where did you even come from? Oh, I was just hanging out down here. We don't show our faces on this show, it's not how we do things. Man, I don't know all of your rules, okay? I've never seen this show before. 